Does this look familiar to you? Let's have a closer look. Yes, this is the symptom of Gemini virus. But the question is, where does this virus come from? Is it coming from water? Or is it air? Is it the soil? Or is it seeds? Well, it is none of these. And the answer will surprise you. It is white fly that brings in and spreads this virus attack. Yes, that's true. Let us know how this happens. The white fly lays many eggs. These eggs turn into nymphs that begin sucking on the sap in the leaves. And when it sucks on an infected leaf, it injects the virus in itself. When this nymph completes its life cycle, it turns into an adult white fly. This white fly then becomes the transmitter of the virus. And when it sucks the sap of other ininfected plants, it spreads the virus to those plants too. It is an alarming fact that one white fly is enough to transmit the virus to many plants. And the worst part of this is that symptoms don't appear immediately and can take as long as two to three weeks. Gemini vector virus can cause yield losses from 20 to 80 percent. And the horrifying fact is that this process once begun cannot be reversed.